my grandmother invited us to go to church one time when I was about, I don't know, seven or eight years old. I wasn't interested in going to church, but, you know, it was grandma. So all five or six of us kids went to church with her. And it was just a small little church. And some of the people were kind of weird, I thought. But my grandmother had been filled with the Holy Ghost. And so, and we went to this little church. And this, of course, that didn't mean anything to me at that time. But I noticed during this service, there was a, the pastor's wife got off the organ. And she was walking around. And I thought she kind of looked at me. And I thought, I wonder, I wonder where she's going. And she went around. And she made her way around. And she passed by me. And I just looked forward. And then all of a sudden, her hands were laid on my shoulder. And she began to prophesy. Now, I was just a, an honorary kid. I, I wasn't interested in even being there. But she began to speak things about what God saw in my heart and what he intended to do in the future and, and all of this stuff, right? And, and my brothers and sisters are looking at me and, and I'm looking at them and saying, I don't know. And uh, that was over and I thought, man, that's weird. And went home, my mom asked me about it and I said, mom, I don't know, man. Some la the lady, she just came and laid hands on me, started talking and saying stuff. Well, I forgot about that. I forgot about it for 20 years until one day I was standing on a platform leading a youth convention with, with over a thousand people there. And the Lord brought back to me the very words that were spoken to me. Sometimes we discredit the, the small things and write them off as insignificant. I listen a lot closer now. I listen a lot closer now, I, I'm, that doesn't mean that everything that ever thought that ever has passed through my mind. When I read Jeremiah, it talks about the call of God coming to a man and of his intent to use a man to have an impact or influence nations of people does it not do you read it the same way i read it if that is a concept of god do you think that that's changed is it possible that there are men and women in this room that could be placed in that same book that the call of god would come upon their lives especially in the hours that we are entering into sometimes we become diluted in the masses we think as the number grows, somehow that our individual life becomes just a little bit smaller or somehow we become a little bit more insignificant. There is a tremendous power in God connecting with one person. And when that one person accepts a call and begins to walk in believing and in faith that God desires to use one man, one woman... In some particular situation. You're going to have to excuse me because I'm going to kind of meander around here for just a little bit. If you don't mind. Six years ago or somewhere about. I remember as I got up on a Sunday morning and I was praying. And I realized that at that very moment there were probably some 30, maybe 40 or 50 other men in our city that were opening the same Bible that I open. They were seeking God for a message to minister to a people that they would stand before. But some of them, their congregations were maybe 50. Some of them maybe 500. Some maybe 2,000. But they were men just like me, hungry to do the work of God and doing what they knew to do. And doing with what they were able to do. And something sparked in me. There was a, a faith that came from somewhere that if I could begin to pray for these men, that as they opened that word of God, that the same revelation that God would give to me, he would give to them. And if it wasn't going to come by happenstance, then maybe somebody just making a petition. Somebody maybe calling out that God would begin to give revelation. Yeah. 